Why was Judah, son of Jacob, singled out? It's the Nazarite bringing you Hebrew lore from days of yore. If faith, spirituality, religion, self-development are part of your thing, hit that subscribe button. Last night I did an AMA at Reddit, the Holy Spirit moved me, if you will, and I decided to do that. So I have a few new subscribers. Hey Reddit subscribers, yeah! In this week's Torah portion, the Bible kind of takes a zoom out and a zoom in on the life of Judah after Joseph is sold to the Ishmaelites. Judah leaves his brothers, he goes on his own, he does his thing. There's marriage, there's family, there's loss, complications, and even a state execution. And it all leads up to the eventual birth of Peretz, the son of Judah, who would later go on to father King David. Of course, the Torah has many layers, but in this section, it simply shows Judah as a human being, a simple man. And part of the story is him stepping up and taking responsibility for his actions when somebody's life is on the line, which is reminiscent of the story of Joseph in the pit, which occurs earlier. Many years later, when Jacob is blessing his sons on his deathbed in Egypt, Judah is singled out once again and is given the crown of leadership and responsibility. Judah is the tribe of kings. It was a kingdom when the kingdom split into Judah and Israel, and it remained a kingdom for a long time, and it remains a kingdom still, albeit in a different kind of vein. We believe the Messiah is of the tribe of Judah from the line of King David, and this week's Torah portion gives us some insight into the root of Mashiach, of the Messiah, and of the human being to a degree. The Messiah is not perfect, and he does not come from a line which is perfect. We all have our faults, we all have our imperfections, it's part of what makes us who we are. It's not that we don't make mistakes, it's that we strive to learn from our mistakes and do better in the future. To be like Judah who accepted responsibility and did the right thing. He does it in this week's Torah portion and he does it later on in Egypt when Benjamin's freedom is at stake. Oh wow, well, you could totally tell I was reading from my bullet points on the monitor in that shot. That's, that's just an awful shot, really. What a, I, I mean, it's just an awful shot. It really is. Eh, I'll keep it in there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later.